there was some infidelity in the relationship or there's something that transpired, was it harder for you to sit down and have a conversation and to tell her that something had happened outside of the relationship or losing the finals? Way harder to have a conversation with my now wife. Right. Um, who wasn't at the time, but my now wife about it. Like, you try to think of everything possible. Because you think about what you're going to say, and you're also thinking about how she's going to react. Yeah, I mean, you're thinking about it all. It's right. all scary. One, the whole situation is is scary enough. Right. I'm, you're a public figure. That's scary. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you, you've heard, you know that this is going to hurt someone. You know it's going to hurt. You know it's going to hurt. That you've been building a, a relationship with and a life with. Mm hmm Right? Yeah. And... No matter what people say on the outside or what people want to think, this and that, like ultimately, like you got to sit with you and you got to sit with this person and this is who you're going to be with. Right. And I had to, I had to sit with my wife about this. Well, my now wife about this um, and had this conversation. You told her before it came became public. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. Because I, I, I don't know, D-Wade, if she'd have stuck with you, that thing to come public and you didn't have the conversation with her. Man, listen, let me tell you, I couldn't, I couldn't have gotten through that moment without her sticking with me. You know what I mean? Like, it, it was a, we were in the playoffs, I think even in going into the finals, that whatever year mm -hmm. that was. Man, that was, that was a rough time for me, bro. So you got a lot on your mind. You got a lot on your mind. You, you're keeping, you know, you're keeping something from people you love. Right. And it's heavy. It, you, it, at night, when it get quiet. Yeah. It uses you and your thoughts. Yeah. Them thoughts is loud. And, you're, and it, gets, it gets loud up here in, right. in his mind. And so it came to a point where, yeah, way before, you know, and I tried to, pussyfoot around it. I tried to break up with her. And, yeah. Hey, you know, things has been bad lately. Hey, we've been having a little distance in yeah. our relationship anyway. Like, but, I tried all that. Right. She kept showing up. And so, it hasn't been perfect. Uh, it, it would never be perfect. But, that was nine years ago. Right. And we still, we go to therapy. Right. We've been to therapy. Right. We've had shouts about it. We've had regular conversations about it. And so it's been something that is going to continue to be something that I have to work at and work right. on. It doesn't right. go away because years come or because right. I say, I'm sorry, or whatever it is. And so... Is that, that the hardest part of it, D-Wade? To know that you've done this and it's probably always going to be a source of contention. It's always going to be something that could possibly be brought up. It might be 10 years from now. It might be 15. You guys might be 75 years old. Yeah. And you still might have to... Well, when it comes to my wife and I... Yeah, that's that's hard. We got to always it's always there. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to my son, mm -hmm. that's hard for him. Mm -hmm. This is going to always be there. Right. He's done nothing. Right. So stain that's on him for no reason. Right. 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 And I think about that more than I, you know, like we're adults. Right. And we're going to get through it. Right. Or we ain't going to get through it. Right. Right. We, we're, we're adults in this space. Right. This is a young kid. Right. Who has already got uh, a negative impact. Um, next to his name. Right. And he hasn't even had a chance to accomplish that. Right. And he already got a negative next to his name because of how he was brought into this world. Right. Um, and I think about that. I think about my, 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 you know, the son that bears my name. Right. And I think about my wife. Like, of course, I think about, I think about all my kids. I think about it all. But ultimately, what I do know is, at the end of the day, this is my family. This is my story. Yep. We gonna get through this. How are we gonna get through right. it? Right. But we gonna get through it. You feel me? Yeah. And so, you know, um, I think, you know, time, distance, space, it doesn't help it, um, but it makes it, it allows you to see things differently when you have time away from it. Mm -hmm. And so my wife and I, nine years later, mm -hmm. are in a different space where we're able to have different conversations about right. that moment, mm -hmm. about the future of my son, about how we want to incorporate, how we want to be. And that's just one aspect of this long journey Right. Um, but ultimately, for me, it's all about making her understand that I'm continuing to grow. I'm continuing to, you know, to, to, to work on myself. Um, not understand, but show her. Right. Right. And she's showing me. Right. This goes both ways. But right. in this instance, but also, too, at the same time, love my kids. Right. This is my this is my story. Right. And I didn't ask for it to all be this way. Right. You, I don't know what's coming in the future, but right now, this is all mine. And so as good as it looks, or as bad as it seems, it's mine. Right. And I'm thankful to even have the good in my life, and I'm also thankful to have the things that's a little uncomfortable to talk about and deal with and experience, right. because that makes you live a full life. Right. And so, 
That's all I'm trying to do. Just trying to figure out a way to live a full life together.